distinguish between crystalline solids and amorphous solids. Point number one. Crystalline solids show long-range, orderly, and repeating arrangement of atoms. Amorphous solids show short-range, random, or irregular arrangement of atoms. Point number two. Crystalline solids have definite geometrical shape. Amorphous solids have no definite geometrical shape. Point number three. Crystalline solids have sharp and, well, defined, melting point. Amorphous solids melt over a range of temperatures. Point number four. Crystalline solids cleave along definite planes. Crystalline solids, when cut with a sharp edged tool, they split into two pieces, and the newly generated surfaces are plain and smooth. Amorphous solids break irregularly, no cleavage planes. Amorphous solids, when cut with a sharp edged tool, they cut into two pieces with irregular surface. Point number five. Crystalline solids are anisotropic. Anisotropy is the ability of crystalline solids to change their physical properties when measured in different directions. Amorphous solids are isotropic. Isotropy is the ability of amorphous solids to exhibit identical physical properties even though measured in different directions. Point number six. Crystalline solids have definite and higher heat of fusion. Amorphous solids have lower or no definite heat of fusion. Point number seven. Crystalline solids are thermodynamically more stable. Amorphous solids are thermodynamically less stable. Point number eight. X-ray diffraction for crystalline solids shows sharp and distinct patterns. X-ray diffraction for amorphous solids shows diffused or broad patterns. Point number nine. Salt, quartz and diamond are examples of crystalline solids. Glass, plastic, wax and graphite are examples of amorphous solids.